Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, so, how is going? Uh, is it going with the rollout for uh, Windows updates for yesterday, the Patch Tuesday updates? Uh, if you have not done so yet, uh, just make sure that you apply them. Fixes 97 flaws across different uh, platforms. And these uh, flaws, of course, are not just Windows, but a lot of them are in Windows. And there's six zero days, not exploited in the wild. Um, how does the update go and um, how well is it working out? Well, for most people it is uh, fine. So there's not really that much uh, happening. Except a small subset of users have actually um, checked out the possibility that it might have broken uh, their VPN. So apparently there is a subset of users that have a VPN connection issue since they have applied yesterday's uh, updates. Um, Microsoft says that it is investigating and checking out why it might be happening for some. It's mostly if you use a VPN that actually integrates within Windows own VPN system. If you have a VPN that requires you to have an app installed um, or if your VPN is directly uh, in your router, that shouldn't be a problem. It's really when the VPN is uh, something that you have set up within the Windows operating system directly. So um, not everybody is, of course, uh, having that issue. It seems that it uh, is a problem for both Windows 10 and uh, Windows 11 users. But apart from that, the background noise right now is quite low. It seems that the rollout is going well and that uh, you should uh, technically have a pretty good uh, VPN, uh, VPN, Windows Update uh, experience. If you look at uh, the uh, updates um, history, um, if you want to check to see if it was installed, so you should have, of course, the uh, update that was installed yesterday, cumulative update. Uh, cumulative update for Windows 10 or Windows 11. There's a .NET Framework update also that was uh, released. And you might see also that there was a uh, update for the uh, security, the definitions and the, the updates for the, um, the mili Windows malicious software removal tool, which is updated roughly every month with new definitions and how to uninstall these malware from your PC. So for most people, like I said, the majority of people, it's fine. But if you are using a VPN that's configured through Windows, that could be an issue for some of you. If you can't connect anymore, turn it off. If connections start again, you know that you probably have that bug uh, happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.